Good morning. Hallelujah. It's great privilege to be in the service as this one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we will go, before we will go in prayer line, I want to short, shortly talk on a subject with my weak English, but about strong, powerful subject, uh, benefits of pruning and losses of rebellion. Is it rebellion word, right word? Okay. Uh, and, and I ask, let's read the scripture, John 15, uh, from verse 1 to 8. Let them read, please, for us. I am the true wine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that doesn't bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone doesn't abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. They gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Thank you. I am, I am 56 years old, and I am Christian from my childhood, but when I, when I was around 16 years old, I was backsliding secretly, but inwardly I was lost. And uh, in my spiritual bankruptcy, emptiness, I was absolutely lost and even didn't have any sense to live longer. In the morning, I was angry why I opened my eyes to see again that emptiness, new, empty, pointless day. And uh, it was so strong for, for me. Even I left on the people who are so stupid and still, still uh, uh, go to work and do th something. In the end, you will, you will receive any, any, any way same. If you, in the end of your life, without God, because there is no God, I, will, I was proved. In the end of your life, if you will die and worms will eat you and you will be decayed, what the point to live this life? In my, in my emptiness, in my spiritual ban bankruptcy, Jesus met me and granted me salvation. When, when, I, was, when I was saved, I always doubt about such a things. Is there is this true that salvation only through Jesus Christ? Because if you watch around millions, millions, billions people live without Christ. And what and, and, and so what? They they are lost. They are perished. That's they perished and lost because that's Bible. That's Bible says so. And I read this Bible, and somewhere doubt in inside, it cannot be so. Billions of people are perished. It was hard to accept. That Bible says true in it's written in Bible. But when I grow up and became more mature and wise and more informed, I discovered that world is spiritual. Doesn't matter you are Christian or not, but as higher you in 
area of influence. People secretly, pe people, people secretly, great companies, big companies, politic pe people, people of Hollywood secretly sneak, sneak somewhere with the, with, the, with the dark places, people with great education, great influence, millions, billions, trillions of dollars on the, on, the, on the budget, people tied themselves somewhere with the witchcraft, with the um, witch doctors and dark powers. But simple people do not know it. They, they watch them on TV. They gave for them their votes in the time of voting and many, many things. But simple people, these big guys, like to keep in darkness. That spirit rules the world. That world, world is spiritual. But when I, when I grew up more in Christianity, and when fullness of gospel is revealed today and casting of demons becomes, uh, becomes uh, available for, for everybody, go on the YouTube, observe the many, many, many services, spiritual, spiritual churches, you will clearly see their spiritual manifestation, casting of demons. And when you listen what demons speak about themselves, because Bible says demons believe in the word of God and they tremble. I discover for myself that these doubts of mine in my youth, that I believe that I am saved through Jesus Christ. But millions of people, they don't know Jesus Christ. Not, not maybe easy to say they don't know, but they did not accept him. That's the problem. And when I doubt in, in the things that salvation only through Jesus Christ, because masses without submission themselves to Christ. And so they perished. Some, some, some have, some like I doubt. But when I came in the full gospel church where demons, because of presence of the Holy Spirit, start to manifest it. And demons start, start to confess in their, this truth reality that that they are keeping whole world in, in captivity and the whole world is lost and they themselves confess that salvation only through Jesus Christ I came to conclusion how easy today to be lost and how big privilege to be saved through Jesus Christ. My sermon is simple. A uh, danger in kingdom of God. The, there is still the, in the world there is danger. It's clearly. Ask demons Satan, Lucifer, ask during the exorcism. We are privileged people of uh, a people of church that we can openly, not secretly, as a many big guys in the world, looking for spiritual help, that they can gain the money, many things for popularity, for for authority, for many many things. They go in dark places 
be in, in, in contact with dark powers of demons, being blind, using demonic power for temporary pleasure, temporary position, devil blind them. He, what he gives with one hand, with another he will take on what your uh, life depends. Anyway, you will lose. But when these demons in people comes in the presence of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit by his fire paralyze them and torture them and they are yield the truth. They yield that demonic kingdom is coming to the end. Uh, it's clearly Bible says salvation only through the Jesus Christ and, and clearly demons, Satan, Lucifer, dragon, how you call it, it clearly says their, their end is near and there will be, there will be cast in the lake of, lake of fire forever and ever and ever and ever. There is no escape. So, danger of this world is clear from the Bible and from the world of Satan. But I want to, want to talk to you danger in church. We still, that's the reality. That, that's the reality. We cannot escape such, such a truth. Demons themselves confess it. Jesus spoke this parable. <clears throat> that God himself, before the foundation of the world, he chose this plan of salvation. He chose to save humanity. He precede. Pre Proceed, and he, 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 uh, he knew that's fallen of, uh, of 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 humanity, and in many parables in New Testament, Testament, he described this truth of kingdom of God. In this parable, he describes as a, as a, uh, as a father is wine dressers. And Jesus is wine and we are as a branches. In Old Testament, New Testament, many, many parables from different angles show, shows us, show us this truth. In this parable, I want to talk to you shortly, benefits of uh, pruning and losses of a rebellion. Because we came today for the prayer line to receive that's grace. And in this parable, Jesus clearly showed for us that whatever you ask God, he will give you. That's the great privilege. That's the great benefits to receive from God. Even in such a critical situation as this man. Leprosy, skin disease, or because our life is lay, laid open in spiritual world, our families, marriages, uh, businesses, finances, our health, everything, demon, demons, they pursue us because their nature, their task, their goal to kill, steal, and destroy, and we are not protected without God, and in, in the kingdom of God, we, ha we have to be protected and to be um, beneficial. Is it right? Uh, beneficial to receive goodness, mercy, grace of God, his protection in our life. The, this wine, Jesus Christ, which was planted on this earth by the grace of the Father on the Calvary, he put his roots so deep and, and watered the, the, these roots, roots with his blood. And purpose 
of Calvary to bring to bring fruit to spread kingdom of God spread, spread kindness and goodness of God on this earth and he gave for us task ask let the kingdom let your kingdom come and let your will be done and God waits for for much fruit his kingdom and this task he lay upon us as a church as a people that his kingdom kingdom of righteousness holiness love peace joy happiness will be established on this earth because he 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 left this earth and took the place uh, beside the father in heaven but he descend his spirit and indwell us as a, his people we are responsible today to continue his mission to build his kingdom to work with him and receive benefits of his kingdom as a children of God he wants that we will that we will be prosperous blessed healthy wealth uh, abundance and all God's blessings that's the will of the father that's not our ego no that's the will of the father that his kingdom represent he, he, his kinship it's so important that we deeply understand that we cannot bring this fruit do not abide on the on, on, under wine but as I said pre, uh, before, before it, but abiding, attached to the wine, we have, we have again responsibility to be pruned that we will bring much fruit. To be pruned, the, to be pr pruned, it means God's grace, God's favor, God's hand, God's ear, God's eyes will be committed to you. It's falsely we can we can state that if you come to church, you live how you want. Uh, sinful, continue your sinful life, and God will. Uh, uh, bless you, heal you, deliver you. It's wrong statement. By Jesus say, says clearly, when you commit yourself, when you allow yourself that he prune, prune you, when you abide in him and his word, uh, word, uh, word abide in you, then you bring much fruit and whatever you ask Father, he will give you. Today we are about to ask Father that He give us healings, deliverance, breakthrough, and many things. But it's 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 right for us to know the truth. There is there is people who are pruned. For them there is there there is benefits, but people who are rebellion. What does it mean to be pruned? To be pruned, that means be submissive. Submit yourself to the word of God. Submit uh, 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 the, uh, him, your, yourself to the, to the, to the uh, teaching of the Jesus. To be submissive means you, uh, you prune yourself. We are, we are easy to submit our, ourselves daily in, from the morning to evening. We submit do, during do themselves even through the evening to the morning. We submit ourselves, our hunger, when we, 
when we hunger, we go to, to eat. When we're thirsty, we submit ourselves and go, go to, to drink. We submit ourselves when we drive to the red light. We submit from the morning to the evening. But we rebellion really often in the case where benefits the most important. There is, there is benefits of submission to the word of God. There is reward to be pruned. There is grace of God where, where you undervine. Where is, there, is, there is benefits when you work for the kingdom of God. God spread his protection. God with, 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 will give you peace, joy in your heart. Be submissive. Sub submit yourself to the will of God. Because a reward is indescribable. There is loss losses of rebellion. We know when we rebel how many, how many losses we, we can have. When our, kids, when, when our kids rebel to parents, they think they will gain the profits but it's not in every area when you uh, when you rebel against the will of God you will have losses people who knows uh, people who knows the sweetness of submission those people goes on this way easily because, because they know the reward of submission. But the rebellion people will suffer emotionally, spiritually, financially, in marriage, in family, each in every in everywhere. So important for us. God Himself says, Hey. Abide in me, and my word let's abide in you. It's easy to do it. That sub this submission is not shameful. It's rewardable. It's easy to submit yourself when you abide in him, when you daily, from day to day, Go on your YouTube, take podcast, read your Bible, and watch these signs and wonders, this goodness of the kingdom. Watch how God saved people. When I walk through this aisle, from my right and from my left, I see how many people are saved in this church, whose life totally changed. God not say, rescue them. And they are new people. When I watch, when I abide in his kingdom, what he is doing, how, how great he, his work, it's easy for me to submit. I won't submit. That's my privilege to submit myself and to give that he prune my life. Because in his kingdom, I will bring more fruit and he will answer me what I ask him in my prayer. There is benefits when you are pruned by the word of God. When you submit yourself to the word of God. There is blood of Jesus can wash your sin and take away your guilt. Your, your, repro your reproach, your condemnation. When you submit to the will of God. There is healing where, where is sickness. There is deliverance. Where is bondage? Where you submit to the will of God. There is no such a problem, such a burden with Jesus cannot solve that problem. All things is possible with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Submit yourself to his grace. Submit yourself to his promises. Say with word of God, 
I can do all things with Jesus Christ. Even I, if I fell, I will raise again. Because grace of Jesus is powerful to take me from, from, from my pit. In Jesus' name.